Hello, and welcome to episode four of Fieren. I'm glad to be back. Uh, looking forward to continuing where we last left off with this show. Um, I, so far, I've really enjoyed, I guess, the overall themes and the character development that we've been seeing from Fieren. Um, seems to me like she's very focused on trying to um, build a connection and um, right the wrongs of her not necessarily wrongs, but more her regrets, right? Because she's been, she was so distant in the past that she never, so up in the clouds and not so focused on what's going on with everyone else that I think she, she finally realized at the towards the end of their lives that she had been really missing out on a real deep connections. So I'm interested to see uh, the relationship she can build with Fern. I'm really liking Fern, and I want to see some continued growth on her end. Man, she's growing up so fast. I feel like each episode we get like two or three time skips in them, and my lord, I, I swear, next episode she's going to be a granny. Just an absolute granny. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's keep going. Um, I'm excited. Let's go. Skip intro. Three, two, one, let's go. 28 years, so this is like a year later after the last episode. I remember specifically, that was 27 years. Flame, I remember that name. That was from the very opening. I remember that name. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so I'm assuming Flame must be like an old, like an old god. Well, not god, but like ancient mage. Better get cozy. We're spending a year here <laughs> to clean this up. <laughs> Three months. Man, time flies so fast in this show. <laughs> we get time skip after time skip after time skip. <laughs> fucking... She's such a dork. I... <laughs> She's a child. Uh, such a child. <laughs> Come on. Let me hold your hand. Come on, child. <laughs> You're just now asking this question. Just now. You've been together how many years at this point? <laughs> so she was worthless back then, too. Well, that's good. It's good to know. Okay. Three months. Okay. It's going faster than normal. <laughs> they spent what, like six months to a year looking for flowers? So they got like powerful levitation magic. That must have been huge if it took them this long. Like, what, five months? Just guessing however long. For them to do it with those powers. Boy, what's wrong? 
Oh, <laughs> because she sleeps in so much. Is that what she's going to be working on this episode? Is becoming more diligent or more. Uh, More organized. Oh, it's a regret. Yeah, she's too detached. Huh. Yeah, I wonder what was so special about it. Is it just them being together? Just spending time together. The land where souls rest. Hope we get to learn more about the dwarf guy. He ages slower than the others, but not the same as her. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to feel if I was a churchgoer and my priest is like, eh, I don't care. I don't care if God exists or not. I definitely want to learn more about him. Found him. Oh, word gets around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they kept in contact. <laughs> wonder where all the other elves are you'd think somebody that lives that long you'd maybe be more connected with people that could live as long as you you know what I mean oh the real deal they might have found it <laughs> Her in the background. You feel left out or something? Oh, just <laughs> want to waste her life. He's still strong. I think he looks, even though he looks like Cousin It, I think he looks cool as hell. He's just as bad. Is it possible to reconnect with the dead? Exactly. She, he wants to help her be able to commune with her friends that have passed. Mainly him, all that also. The priest. Hider. So even in their old age, as they're dying, they're thinking about her and trying to help her. What great friends, you know what I mean? Like, their whole lives, even though she's kind of this ditzy, disconnected, off in the clouds. 
Great friends, man. Who is this? Oh, well, if she could read the future. Who is this? You are the protege of flame. You knew her personally, so that's why you're kind of so nonchalant about like all the works. She's really old then. She has to be like hundreds if not thousands of years old. Thousand years old. Thousand years ago. She's old. Whoa. <laughs> she literally essentially made it to like the world tree or uh, oh, what's the Norse Oh, what's the Norse term for the afterlife? I can't. Valhalla, that's it. Except rather than warriors, it seems like normal people. But she essentially found heaven. And it looks like she was human. She must have been pretty damn powerful. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what are your... your your master found it, and your friend friends truly wanted to believe in it. Oh. They're all doing this just to be wingmen. I know it. <laughs> wingmen for their dead friend. Demon's Castle, do you think Demon King's Castle still has people there? I mean, he built it up there. You think a giant castle wouldn't be just left alone like that? You think it'd be made like something important after conquering it, you know what I mean? At the end, yeah. <laughs> Hope we get to see more details about their journey, like what they had to go through at the end. <laughs> at the end. <laughs> She's smiling. I don't know. She took notice of your birthday, got you gifts. I mean, a lot of this is about chasing past regrets, but she seems to be pulling you in, too, and thinking about you. Mm. For her, it is. But when you put it into greater context, though, like after this and then more time, obviously this short amount of time, that one one-hundredth of her life span, it was an important one because she's literally spent the next how long just regret, like deep in regret and trying to make it right in a sense. So... And she got teary, like, 
It matters to her. Th these guys matter to her. She just didn't realize it at this time. Wow. took 10 years and they knew where they were going like <laughs> if they knew the destination and it took them 10 years to get there holy shit yikes I think she's looking forward to another 10 year adventure. Build strong connections while trying to. This is good. I like this. I like where this journey's leading to. Okay, we just finished episode four of Fieran uh, Beyond Journey's End. Great episode. Um, I'm really starting to get more and more into this. Um, I think at the beginning there was a little bit of trepidation on my end, but as we've kind of gotten in, I'm getting I'm more and more bought in. Um, I really like the development that we've already seen from her from Fieran, uh, uh, Fri Fieran so far. Um, we already see changes from her past self to who she is now, and the fact that they they are now going to essentially recreate the journey that her and her past party did. Except there's not a Demon King. They're going to there to possibly meet and uh, develop magic. That, uh, or learn the magic to be able to communicate with, the, with her lost friends, right? Essentially. And what's also crazy, though, is that she was the protege of Flame, an ancient wizard. <laughs> an ancient, powerful wizard. Just nonchalant. I guess everyone treats as almost... Almost deity-like, and then she's like, eh, she's kind of a piece of shit, huh? <laughs> but, awesome. Well, I I'm excited to see where this journey goes. I think this is now the official beginning of her second journey, and she seems excited for it. Like, there at the very end, she seemed like, yeah, I get to, I get to start over, essentially, and do it right this time. You know what I mean? So... And also make up for the, the past failures. So, awesome. Really good show so far. Um, I'm excited to see where this journey leads. I imagine she's going to be picking up. We do know, know from the opening that that golden-haired person was Flame. So I imagine that the other person that she's going to get to the party is that uh, the boy with the axe. So we still got to get him. And I think it's just those. I, didn't, I don't remember seeing anybody else in the opening. But awesome. Well, we'll go ahead and keep going, and uh, we'll continue from there. But from uh, from here on out, if you could like, subscribe, comment, that would be awesome. I'd love to read you guys' comments. I look forward to that a lot, actually. It's one of my favorite parts of, of uh, checking up on the videos. I get to see what comments you guys are leaving. So awesome. Well, you guys have a great one. We'll see you next time. Bye.